All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Brasserie de Chouf, and they're out of a Chouf, Belgium, and this is their Nice Chouf, the 2022 release. So they're calling this one a Belgian dark beer brewed with spices, and those spices are orange peel and thyme. Comes in at 10% alcohol by volume, 25 IBUs at the time of review. Don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but it does have a best before date of May of 2024, so this should be pretty fresh. Now, this is the last beer in their um, Discovery gift pack uh, that I am reviewing on the channel. The other three were Le Chouf, Mick Chouf, and Hublan Chouf. And uh, I've had a lot of fun reviewing these beers, so I'm going to pick up more Belgian beers. Uh, I'm going to cool it on the uh, Chouf stuff for now. I do want to review their uh, Cherry Chouf at some point, though. This is the final of that gift pack. And uh, did I save the best for last? Probably, because as I said before, I am a uh, darker uh, Belgian beer fan. So the Mixchouf 2 date has been my favorite of the pack. Although I've had this one before, albeit a, a different vintage, and it was really good. So I'm hoping that this one is just as good as I remember. Now, they have spiels on the, on the back of the label that I've read before. I forgot the last time. I'm not going to read them just because they're kind of generic. Just... You know, no, it just makes the reviews long. And, you know, if you have this beer or access to the internet, you can go and look up what it says on the back of the bottle. It's nothing all that great. Anyway, let's give this a pour and uh, see how this one is. So, you know, this is like a Belgian strong dark ale uh, brewed with orange peel and thyme. And uh, yeah, I'm here for it. So do something like that. I'm going to leave the goodies to the end like I've done in most of the reviews. And uh, we'll give it a proper reviews here. So a little bit of an aggressive pour at the end to generate that head. But yeah, that looks beautiful. Again, this glass isn't the best. It came as part of the gift pack. Uh, you can't really see it as much. But at the bottom here, yeah, that has like a ruby red kind of glow to it. A lot of fine particulates. About a two finger of a straight up like a tan, light tan, cream colored head. Looks beautiful, might be a little bit darker on camera, but definitely not in person. Has some bigger bubbles mixed in with uh, smaller bubbles. In the head looks somewhat creamy, but somewhat soap sudsy. But yeah, plays the role of a Belgian strong dark ale. Let's get a nose. Oh, it smells nice. Getting like an, a lot of like dark, almost baker's chocolate. But then you get that orange peel in the thyme, but the orange peel is a little bit more prominent. It has a more of a citrus zest to it. But yeah, there's chocolate, there's caramel, there's toffee. There's toasted brown bread. A little bit of like a coriander kind of uh, phenolic yeast component. This doesn't have like that big um, estery kind of yeasty uh, bubblegum or banana note. Not in the nose anyway. This has a drier smell to it. I don't know if it's... The time is uh, giving it to like this like herbaceousness. Yeah, it has a nice herbaceousness. Almost like... You're smelling like fresh thyme, like in your hand. Yeah, so baker's chocolate, toasted brown bread. There's a little bit of like a darker stone fruit as well. Caramel toffee. And then, yeah, that zesty citrus from the orange peel and the herbaceousness. Touch of coriander. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I mean, I want to get into it, so let's do so. Cheers. This is such a unique beer. It's amazing how much that time plays. Like a lot of times I'll say in uh, New England style IPAs, a lot of times if I get like, a, sometimes I get an herbaceousness and it reminds me of like basil or thyme or something in that realm. And you know, it's not actually those spices because it's just probably the yeast or maybe one of the hops in them. Oh, those beers, this actually has thyme in it. But that herbaceous kind of sense you get when you smell it and sip it, you can tell it's actually in here. And it's pretty fucking cool. Hmm. The most impressive thing about this beer, right from the rip, is it's 10%. It drinks from an alcohol perspective, like it's seven or eight. Like a little bit of warming in the chest, nothing on the palate. It goes down so easy. This is a dangerous and scary beer off those first two sips. And I don't remember it being this like drinkable ABV wise. Just by the fact it's 10%, it doesn't drink like it. Body's a bit thin. I'd say like higher side of medium. It's all right. Again, makes it more drinkable, more sessionable at 10%. 
The mouthfeel, this is very effervescent. This might be, along with Le Chouf, two of the ones that had the most prickly carbonation. Maybe Hublon Chouf. Uh, McChouf was like the softer, I think, of the bunch. I don't know. I, I think they're all in the same kind of realm to varying degrees, but they definitely have a lot of carbonation like a typical Belgian beer will. It's like moderately a touch over moderately carbonated. It's smooth on the palate, but it's not soft to any degree. Maybe a touch of like a creamy sensation, but not as much. Beautiful lacing. The taste is just, there's a lot of complexities, but it's how it's delivered is very simplistic to the palate because it goes in stages and it's very easy for me to decipher. Like front of the palate, first thing I get, toasted brown bread, unmistakable for me. It's a little bit of that baker's chocolate, caramel toffee, uh, caramelized sugars. But right after that, I get that citrusy orange peel, but it's more like an orange, like like someone just zested an, uh, you know, a peel into my, um, or you know, zested an orange, orange zest into my uh, glass of beer. Passes through, I get a little bit of like a banana bread, kind of like toasted banana bread kind of no, so that, that phenolic yeast ester is there in terms of the banana. Um, continues on, I get a little bit of like black licorice anise, like just a, just a skosh. Then the second half of the palate is where the hops come in, but also the thyme is kind of delivered to the palate. So it's herbaceous, it's a little bit bitter, has a coriander, it has like a spicy hop note in conjunction with the spice itself in thyme, and then a little bit of coriander from the phenolic yeast character. I finish a semi to full on dry with a mild to moderate bitterness. This is a smack dab in the in the middle of like a mild to moderate bitterness. Very well balanced. It's sweet up front, uh, pretty dry on the back of the palate on the finish, and then it has a decent bitterness to kind of balance it out to some degree. Again, uh, I cannot stress this enough. Ten percent doesn't really drink like it. Uh, as I as I take more sips, yeah, there's a warming into the chest, but no stressing on the palate. This is the biggest ABV of the pack. And it's probably the most drinkable for me. I'm just loving every sip. I'm going to pour the uh, goodies in here, do a little bit of swirl, throw them in, see if that changes anything up. Usually just cloud it, clouds up the beer and maybe puts a little bit more of an emphasis on that yeast uh, character. Now, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe a little more of the coriander, maybe a little bit more of the orange peel, orange zest kind of feel. But, man. This, this is definitely my favorite of the bunch. Yeah, I think so. Um, I just love the uniqueness from the orange peel and thyme. Like orange peel thyme in a Belgian strong dark is kind of, I mean, you can get a lot of different characters just from the yeast itself in a lot of Belgian strong dark ales. Um, but I think actually adding them to the beer just bumps it up a notch. So um, this is probably my favorite uh, Schuf beer without question. Uh, so in Nischuf, the 2022 release of from uh, Brasserie de Chouf. I have no issues giving this a high 425 out of 5. I am going to give that a 4.35 out of 5. This is my favorite from them of the stuff I've had in the past and the stuff I've reviewed over the past month. So seek this one out if you like uh, Belgian Strong Darks and you enjoy orange peel thyme, you know, herb herbaceousness, citrus. I think it just adds to this beer. Now, I can see some people grabbing this, though, and absolutely just not being a fan of it because of those two ingredients. It's just, it's it's one of those you either love it or hate it type of things, I, at least in my opinion, and I pretty much love it, you know, to some degree. Really like it. Really, really like it. Maybe not love it. Really, really like it. Anyway, price point availability. I think four packs of this is twelve to fourteen dollars in my neck of the woods. Um, the discovery, the discovery um, gift pack was eighteen dollars for uh, four different Schuf beers, all four that I've reviewed this month, and this glass, great value. And then availability, wherever you see uh, Brasserie de Schuf stuff, uh, you should see this beer during the winter time. Might not be on the shelf right now as we're speaking, but you might find some deals on this. There might be some leftover at your you know favorite local uh, beer store or bottle shop and they might want to be getting rid of it for you know the, the other seasonals showing up or maybe even the early spring seasonals even though we're in the middle of winter and you might be able to catch a deal on this I, i've seen deals on this where it's like less than 10 bucks for a four pack before and it's a pretty good deal for a 10 percent uh beer for sure anyway if you've had this one before post in the comment section let me know what you think about it um I just, it's really, really good and my favorite of the bunch. So uh, my New Year's resolution was to review, at least for the channel, so review more imported beers from Belgium, uh, Germany, and England. And I'm going to try to do that where we have no more of these, but going forward, I'm going to try to pick up some other uh, Belgian beers, German beers, and English beers. And we're going to try to continue to review them at least once a week is the goal. So we'll see if I can uh, make that happen, but that is the goal. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.